Good afternoon and welcome back. Well, with a crowded field of candidates, the race for Indiana governor is shaping up to be the most competitive in 20 years. Six candidates have entered the Republican primary race. There is also a Democrat and Libertarian candidate running unopposed. They are vying for the spot, being vacated by Governor Eric Holcomb. News 18 is giving each candidate an opportunity to come on the noon show and talk with us. Today, Eric Doden joins me. He is a business entrepreneur from Fort Wayne and was appointed as president of the Indiana Economic Development Corporation for three years when Mike Pence was governor. He also was the CEO of Allen County's Chamber of Commerce. Well, good afternoon to you. Thanks so much for coming in. I really appreciate good to be here, it. Stacey. Thanks for having me. So first question is, why did you decide to run? Well, look, I think it's very important for us to have a 92 county strategy. And for 50 years, we've ignored our small towns, the ones that I grew up in, uh, Butler, Indiana, and Auburn, Indiana. And our strategy really is about restoring small towns and communities all over the state of Indiana. And we're very excited about that opportunity. So any certain counties that you want to focus on? I just drove into uh, Bitten County and was in the downtown area and a lot of the buildings were dilapidated. And I thought, huh, it, a little revitalization would be nice. Yeah, we think there's a chance to do it all over the state of Indiana. The key mm -hmm. is local leadership and making sure they have a bold vision and then that the state of Indiana be a good partner to them. So I've really been emphasizing the importance of the bold vision come from, coming from local leaders, uh, people that then have to then work with the state of Indiana to bring this reality to, uh, to bear in terms of restoring our small towns. Yeah, that'd be great. So tell me um, also what you feel or how you feel in Tippecanoe County, the LEAP project is a huge subject here. Yes. Uh, what's your views? Are you for or against the LEAP project? Well, I was the first candidate for governor to come out and say that, that, that there are some serious concerns and issues with the LEAP project. Mm -hmm. um, spending billions of dollars of our taxpayer money in one county is a deep concern, but then also taking water uh, from Lafayette and West Lafayette to central Indiana. Uh, there needs to be a lot more transparency in that process and that's just inappropriate from my perspective we're actually taking resources from our small towns you know to central indiana where our larger communities exist so we've said that that's inappropriate uh, really from my perspective the idc needs to be brought back into account with accountability that's what we'll do as governors make sure that we have a 92 county strategy and that we're not the leap economic development corporation mm -hmm. but the indiana economic development corporation so do you feel that if there's a project that's happening in the county the water should come from that county or or should they be able to borrow it from another county yeah i, I think there's got to be a lot of transparency we know we have some water issues in central indiana mm -hmm. but there has to be a really well thought out strategy of how to solve that just coming in and buying land and then taking water you know, without a transparent process is just inappropriate. And that's not gonna happen under my leadership as governor. Now, lots of people have thrown their hat in the ring. How are you getting your word out? Lots of money too, lots of ads and things like that. Are you knocking on doors? Yeah, we're knocking on doors. I've been on the road for three years. So I've been in every county, uh, most of them five, six, seven times. I've met with leaders all over the state of Indiana. Uh, it's just a arduous process of knocking on doors and meeting with people. And we really encourage over the next three weeks, we're gonna have a lot of rallies and opportunities for people to come out and visit. We encourage people to come out. We love to meet you. We love to spend time with you and answer your questions directly. And the May primary is right around the corner, isn't May it? May 7th. All right, good luck. Thanks for joining us Thank today. You, now we're gonna turn it over to the weather with